Hi and welcome to this lesson on special angles. Now special angles is usually a point of frustration for most students. Now I hope I can help with that. Okay, so what we're first going to do is just draw a little diagram that I want you to draw the moment you have to work with special angles or even if you get your test just draw this on the front of your test when you get your uh, paper that has this in it. Okay, so what I want you to draw is just the positive part of the Cartesian plane, the y-axis and the x-axis, and then draw a quarter of a circle with a radius of 2. Okay, that has a radius of 2. So we know that this distance is 2. And if I draw any other point from the center to the outside of the circle, that distance will also be 2. So for example, if I make a 30 degree angle, there's a 30 degree angle, this distance will be 2. And if I make a 45 degree angle, that's one that goes exactly halfway, that's 45 degrees, this is 45 degrees, okay, this whole distance there is 45, let's use a different color. Okay, so that's the 45 degree line, and it's not 4, man, it's 2. Okay, the green one, let's change that one to orange. Okay, this is the 30 degree angle, and that distance is as well 2. Okay, and if we do another one, let's do it in a cyan color. If we make this one at 60 degrees, okay, so this angle right here, that's 60 degrees, and again, this is 2. Now look how easily these coordinates are numbered. Okay, I'm not going to explain where that numbering comes from. Okay, it's quite difficult. But anyways, this one, this coordinate is the coordinate, of, this is a distance of 2. So that's the coordinate 2 for x and 0 for y. But instead of putting 2 and 0, I'm going to put the square root of 4 because that's 2. And this one, the square root of 0 because that's 0. The same with this one. This one, this distance is 2. Okay, So this would be the square root of 0 because x is 0. And the square root of 4 because that will give me 2. Okay, now you'll see why I want to do that just now. This point is going to be 1 and the square root of 3, but I'm going to call it the square root of 1 because that's the same as 1, and the square root of 3. Okay, this one would be the square root of 2 and the square root of 2. And this one will be the opposite of that one, which is the square root of 3 and the square root of 1. So why do I have these square roots in it? Well, because look at this pattern. If we just consider the x's, this is square root 0, square root 1, square root 2, square root 3, square root 4. Look at the y's. We start numbering y from, uh, from the bottom. Square root 0, square root 1, square root 2, square root 3, and square root 4. Okay, so that now these angles are called special angles. Uh, 30 degrees, 40 degrees, 90 degrees, 0 degrees, which is just no degrees at all, and 90 degrees is also a special angle. So if we take, for example, sine of 30 degrees, okay, we notice, okay, sine is y over r. Now you'll notice that the y is the height, and in this case the height is square root of 1, square root of 1, divided by, and r is just the radius of the circle, that is 2. Okay, r is 2. Square root of 1 over 2 is simply 1 over 2, that's a half. Okay, see why we call this a special angle? Look at its pretty answer. Okay, how about cos of 30 degrees? Cos of 30 degrees is x over r, and then we notice x is the adjacent side. Okay, so there's, there's x, square root of 3, square root of 3, r is still 2. Square root of 3 over 2. Also pretty, not if you punch it into your calculator and get the, uh, the irrational answer, then it's not pretty. But this is a pretty answer, don't you think? Let's look at tan of 30 degrees. Tan of 30 degrees is equal to y over x, which is simply square root of 1 over square root of 3 or if 
we simplify it, we get 1 over square root of 3. Now, very often they tell us where we should rationalize the denominator. That means we're not allowed to have an irrational number in the no denominator. Now, all we do then is just multiply with a square root of 3 in the numerator and in the d denominator. Okay, so they cancel and then we'll just have that again. Or we multiply it out. Square root 3 times square root 3 is just equal to 3. And 1 times the square root of 3 is equal to the square root of 3. So that is actually the correct way of showing the, the, um, the ratio of tan of 30 degrees. Okay, again, you see these are called special. This 30 degrees is a special angle because it's got very unique representations or uh, beautiful representations for that angle and you don't need a calculator to get them. Let's look at zero degrees. I should have started with zero but let's look at zero degrees now. So we have sine of zero degrees. So zero degrees is literally this triangle that lies flat flat on the x-axis and that simply means that our opposite is equal to zero and our adjacent is equal to two. But we can just use this little diagram that we drew, knowing that sine is y over r. We see y is equal to the square root of 2 divided by r is the square root, sorry, not the square root, r is 2. So that we get this in the end is square root of 0 is 0 divided by 2 stays 0. How about cos of 0 degrees? Surely that must be 0 as well. Well, let's see. Okay cos is x over r. In this case, x is the square root of 4. The square root of 4 divided by 2 is definitely not 0. In fact, this is 1 because the square root of 4 is equal to 2. 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1. Okay, how about tan of 0 degrees? Okay, I'm sure you're jumping on your seat now because you're so excited. This is so, so easy. y over r, uh, sorry, y over x, okay, is equal to, okay, y is square root of 0 and x is square root of 4. So what do we get? 0 over whatever is going to be 0. Well, 0 over 0 would be undefined, but this is 0 over 2 and that's why it is 0. Let's go on to another one. Again, this is 0 as a special angle. Let's look at sine of 45 degrees. A sine of 45 degrees is equal to y over r. If we look at 45 degrees here, there's our 45 degree angle. That's the coordinate so that our y height would be square root of 2. Square root of 2. And our r is again just the radius of the circle. That's 2. Okay, how about cos? Cos of 45 degrees. Look at this. Look at cos of 45 is x over r is equal to square root x is also square root 2 square root 2 over 2 you see we get the same answer sine of 45 and cos of 45 gives us the same answer cool don't you think okay how about tan of 45 maybe it gives us the same answer as well well let's see okay y over x is equal to y is square root 2 x is square root 2 square root 2 over square root 2 we get 1. Square root 2 over square root 2, they can divide into each other once. So, no, we don't get the same answer, but we get, do get a pretty, very, very beautiful answer. How about 60 degrees? Let's look at 60 degrees. I'm going to do 60 degrees underneath here. Yeah, I, don't, I don't have a lot of space, but let me do it on this side. Okay, so let's take sine of 60 degrees is equal to using this um, we know sine is y over r so we get these the coordinates okay this one is square root 3 over 2 and look yeah those two are the same okay how about cos of 60 degrees okay you think it's going to be the same as sine of 30 well let's see cos is square root is x over r so it's square root 1 over 3, uh, 2, sorry, that gives me 1 over 2. Yes, indeed. Cos of 60 is the same as sine of 30. Okay, how about tan of 60 degrees? That's going to be x over uh, y over x. That gives me square root 3 over square root 1. 
square root 3 over square root of 1. Square root of 1 would just be 1, so this is just equal to the square root of 3. Okay, there we go. Now, let's look at the last one. That is 90 degrees. 90 degrees, again, is a very odd shape. It's not really a triangle, but that's this this triangle that's actually just two vertical lines upwards okay so there's no real angle down here I really had a problem with this at school I couldn't understand how you can draw a zero degree triangle and 90 degree triangle that's impossible but in fact it does have some abstract mathematical uh, sense to it okay so um, this time the coordinate is square root of 0 and square root of 2 4 is square root is 0 and 2 so x is 0, y is 2, and that makes it really easy to find sin, cos, and tan. So we've got sine of 90 degrees is equal to y over r, opposite over hypotenuse. The y is equal to, let's use, what's it, 2. y is equal to 2, r is equal to 2 as well. Okay. So here we see this is equal to 1. Sine of 90 degrees is equal to 1. Cos of 90 degrees, is that also going to be equal to 1? Well, I hope by now you realize that they're not always equal. Okay, actually the only time they were equal was at 45 degrees there. Okay, this time, the, well, let's look at this. When sine was 0, cos was 1. So, um, let's, maybe when sine is 1, cos is 0. Let's see, maybe. Okay, so x over r is equal to x is equal to 0. Yeah, we're getting good with this prediction thing. Okay, so 0 over 2 gives me 0. 10, okay, what happened to 10? 10 was 0 the last time is going to be 0 again. Okay, 10 seems to correspond with sine in this case. Let's see, 10 of 90 degrees is equal to y over x. We find that y is 2, x is 0. Whoa. Okay, we're not allowed to have that. Okay, we're not allowed to divide with a 0. Or if we do, we say it is undefined. We don't know what that answer is. It is undefined. Okay, there tan of 90 degrees doesn't have an answer. When he comes into the interview, he gets chased out. He's not allowed in there. Okay, so tan of 90 degrees is undefined. And there we go. There we have the first quadrant's special angles. Now, these angles appear in all of the other quadrants as well, but we'll look at that once we've looked at some of the reduction formula. For now, let's look at a few applications of this.